Hi, sixth grade. Welcome to part two of lesson seven four, factoring. We're looking at factoring algebraic expressions. Now, as a reminder, yesterday we were expanding. So if you have something like this, 3x plus 1 is in simplest form. So when I multiply this by 5, I have to distribute the 5. That means I need to multiply both parts by the 5. So 5 times 3x is 15x plus 5 times 1 is 5. So if I were to expand this, I would get 15x plus 5. Well, factoring is starting with 15x plus 5 and going backwards, figuring out what you could, um, what you can factor out. So what you are looking at is you're looking at both your terms and you're saying, what is my greatest common factor for 15 and 5? Well, 5 goes into 15, and 5 goes into 5, okay? So 15x, uh, the 15 is 5 times 3, right? And 5 is 5 times 1. Does that make sense? Well, they both have a 5 in common, so that's what's going to be factored out. You're going to put a 5, and 3 is what's left. So instead of 15x, we're going to write 3x plus 1, after the 5 is factored out, is what's left. So you're starting with this, and you're factoring out the 5 to make it look like this. It's a little cleaner, and when you get into algebra, you are going to be factoring things. So let's look at another one. Let's say you've got... Uh, 18y plus 24. What you're looking at is what is th uh, the greatest common factor of 18 and 24. And I know 2 goes into both, uh, 3 goes into both, uh, 6 goes into both, uh, I think that's it. So 6 is our greatest common factor. So what you would do is to get 18 would be 6 times 3, right? To get 24 would be 6 times 4. Makes sense? They both have a 6, so I'm going to factor out the 6. That's what's going to go on the outside. Now on the inside, we have a 3 left. So instead of 18y, we're going to write 3y plus... We have a 4 left, 4, okay? You can always distribute and check. So 5 times 3x is 15x, plus 5 times 1 is 5. That matches, so we did it correctly. You can distribute to see if you did it correctly. 6 times 3y, 6 times 3 is 18, so 6 times 3y is 18y, plus 6 times 4 is 24 and then compare. This matches with this, so it is correct. Um, sometimes you, you may not do the greatest common factor, and it is important that you do the greatest common factor. If you don't, it's not in completely factored form. So let's say you've got like, um, I don't know, um, 15x plus 30. And you say, okay, I can factor out a 5. So this would be 5 times 3, and this would be 5 times 6, right? So then you factor out the 5, factor that out, 3 is left, so it'd be 3x plus 6 is left. Well, and then you notice, oh, 3 and 6 also have a factor in common, and the factor is 3. So you can either go back to the drawing board and figure out what the greatest common factor is, or this, um, we said 3 goes into both, 3 times 1, and this would be 3 times 2. They both have a 3. Well, what you can do with that is multiply that times what you've already done, the work you've already done. 3 times 5 is 15, okay? What's left is 1x. 
But remember, we don't write 1x, we just write x plus 6, uh, the 2 is left, okay? And again, you can multiply it out to see if it's correct. 15 times x is 15x plus 15 times 2 is 30. I think that was a little bit much, but you get the idea. Okay, so let's look at a couple of our problems. Um, let's see, what would be a good one? Let's do, I don't know, let's do 12. We've got 24p minus 15. So I've got a 24 and I've got a 15. I've got to figure out what is the greatest common factor of 24 and 15. Can you think of what it is? Yeah, it's, I, it's 3, okay? So to get 24, it's 3 times 8. To get 15 is 3 times 5. The 3 is what I'm going to factor out. And what is left is 8p. We got a minus sign, minus what is left is a 5. And again, we can multiply it out to see. 3 times 8p is 24p, minus 3 times 5 is 15. So we are good. So I want you to try that with this one. Let's, there's another section. Oh, yes. 21 through 24. It says to simplify and then factor. So you're going to combine like terms, and then you're going to factor them. So let's do 24. We've got 20k plus 7 minus 2k plus 8. I can combine the k's, 20k, and then I've got 2k, but the minus sign goes with it. So 20k minus 2k is 18k plus 7 plus 8. 7 plus 8 is 15. Okay, so it simplifies to 18k plus 15. So now I have to ask myself, what is the greatest common factor of 18 and 15? Well, I know 3 goes into both. To get 18, I would do 3 times 6. And to get 15, I would do 3 times 5. So the 3, since they have a 3 in common, we can factor it out. So 3 goes on the outside. What's left is a 6. So we've got 6k plus what's left is a 5. And again, you can always um, distribute to see if you did it correctly. So 3 times 6x, or 6k is 18k. 3 times 5 is 15. 18k plus 15. We got it. All right, I want you to try to factor them and have a great one, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.